LabVIEW and NXT Part 3, The Light Sensor. Go ahead and open LabVIEW and set it up for your NXT. Today's sensor is the light sensor and there are different ways to use it. We can use it waiting for a certain amount of light, brighter or darker. Usually the default number is 40. We'll explain that more in a minute. You can also use your context help. It will describe how to use any VI, the inputs and the outputs. We can also use the read sensor block, which can be changed to work for the light sensor. Usually you're going to choose LED on. This is the little light that's on the light sensor. We're going to use that. You can also check the context help on how to use that block. The inputs and the outputs. You see that the light sensor returns a value between 0 and 100. We're going to use our brick now to see what those numbers really mean. So your brick can tell you what your sensors are reading. So go to your brick, turn it on, and at the My Files level, go to the right and find View. Then choose which sensor you want to read. So we want to check Reflected Light. That's for the light sensor. And check which port your light sensor is on. And right now you can see that my light sensor gives a number, it's hard to read, a percent depending on what it is pointing at. So at the black tape was about 25 percent. The brown wood table is about 48 percent. And the white paper is about 64 percent. So dark colors will have a low number, and very light colors will have a high number. The light sensor can be very useful for following lines on the playing field for your robot. And NXT actually gives you a starting point. If you go to the Behaviors palette, you will find a little button for following a line and this is actually going to be a whole program that you can drop into your block diagram and use. They've done all the work for you. You may need to make changes to make it work better for your robot but this is a good starting place. There are some instructions at the top that you need to resize. It talks about how to connect your drive motors to port B and C. Make sure your light sensor is on port 1. First they sample the light of the line where it starts and then it enters the loop and this loop happens over and over and over and over they check the light from the light sensor and they're going to compare that number to the first number we had for the light and then they're going to do a mathematical computation and give different speeds to the motors so maybe it needs to turn left or right depending on the quality of the light and the loop will stop when the enter button on the NXT brick is pressed leaving the loop we then use a brake brick to stop the motors I find that following lines works a little bit better if I lower the speed of my motors. You may find that this program works well for you or you might find that you need to make changes or you might find that you have your own better idea for following lines. 
There's no right or wrong answers. There's more than one way to follow a line. It is your choice. All right, let's test it out. We're going to see how well this program works. It is following the square pretty well, making those turns. We'll see if it can keep doing that. Whoops, there goes the paper. It's doing a pretty good job. You have to be careful of shadows. Shadows can affect your line following because they will make the sensor read something darker. You can see that the robot went a little crazy there at the end. Here is a tougher curve so to follow. It hits the first curve and then it fails to find the second turn. Your challenge is to use the follow line program in LabVIEW or write your own.